Hi there, welcome back to James and James Podcast, where we got all your professional wrestling news and updates. Today, James, what do we got today? We got backlash predictions <whistles> for That's this Saturday, up. May 6th. I beep, believe beep, was a date. Yeah, I'm ready for that one. All right, so first up, we got the Usos versus Matt Riddle and Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn. Oh, man. So how do you think that one's going to turn out? What is your prediction on the fight? Well, that's a very hard prediction because uh, with the Usos, with this whole bloodline thing. So like they kind of have to win this fight. But I, know, I do think I'm going to lock my thing in. It's going to be the uh, Sami Zayn and Matt Riddle and Kevin Owens. I think they're going to win. But although if they lose, it's going to be a very difficult time for them, especially <laughs> with Roman Reigns. Yeah. Uh, my prediction is the same like yours. I think Sami Zayn's, uh, Kevin Owens, and Riddle is going to win. Um, but, I mean, going with that, what do you think about from the last SmackDown we saw, or was it Raw yesterday? That It was yeah, Raw. That since they lost, Roman Reigns hasn't been in contact with them. No, not at all. Uh, especially with uh, Paul Heyman, he kind of wants to avoid them also. But Why? Well, ever since WrestleMania they lost, it's been like a, a downhill for them to be out of the bloodline. I don't, well, to me, this is my my theory. This is what I think. I don't have a theory. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I do, just do think you it, have an Austin theory. Uh, well, this is <laughs> me. Is this why? Why hasn't he talked? But remember, um, Paul Heyman said to um, Jay Uso, not Jay. What's the other guy's name? So that's a good one. No, the other Uso. Jimmy? No, okay, no, it was Jay. Okay, Paul Heyman, remember Jay went to the back and he had Paul Heyman and Solo Sokol was there, right? Yes. Okay, and what did Paul Heyman was saying to Solo Sokol all the time? This is your night. It's your whatever. It's whatever. A, yeah, your, your big night. You know. Your big night, your big night, or whatever he was saying. So to me, that was a hint that Solo Sokol was going to take them out was going to take uh, Jay and Jimmy was going to punish them. That's yeah, what I was I, thinking. I do think uh, Solo is going to take them out, both of them. So it could be out of the blood like for sure. And I think we're already going to lead up to that moment. But then what, it, but also uh, with Jay told Solo Sokoa, why weren't you by my side? Why weren't exactly, you down like, the ring? Yeah, you're my brother, my, my, my younger brother. And he's right there for me. He didn't say nothing. No. He, he just looked at him. And Paul Heyman said, well, he has other plans today because oh, he was facing some other guy. But, okay, but even though when he's facing some other guy, don't Jay and yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy they're always, all there. Go, always there? Yeah. Isn't that what the family's bloodline supposed to be? Right, I, I know. So I, I think, why is Roman Reigns taking all the help from him? Which I don't mind because I don't like people getting into the, into the matches because the bloodline was just notorious for that. And now it's kind of like, well, we want that. Yeah, and, <laughs> and now Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens are doing that now to the Usos. Uh, the Usos, they get involved in their matches so they can win. So yeah. They're, they're, they're giving their medicine right back to them. Yeah, I saw that's right. Because um, they were able to get, who, who did they get out? Jay or Jamie out of the, the uh, I think it was, uh, it was Jay. I want to say, yeah, Jay. It was Jay. Because, uh, was it Kevin Owens, wait, or somebody fell down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, and then they threw what's his name the chair. They did the uh, the Eddie oh, yeah, Guerrero. Uh, that move. was uh, that was Jimmy, I believe. That, that that was Jimmy. They did the Eddie Guerrero yeah. move on that, and they faked him out and said, "Oh, look, he's hitting, hitting him with the chair." <laughs> and that was a good move. Get him out. And then and just how like basically Sami Zayn can only or say like, "Well, two can play that game also," you know? <laughs> yeah, right, right. And that's what they're doing. They're doing that. They're playing the same game that they did to for win. But I, I like that they keep giving credit to Eddie Guerrero by that move all the time. I, I've seen that so many times already yeah. in WWE. Well, not so many times. It could have been like three or four. But it's making an impact in there. So It really is. Um, so what else about... So what do you think why the um, Roman Reigns hasn't gone back to the Usos? Well, I mean, to me, and so much is, and since WrestleMania... But since they locked us out, the day after, it was when days went downhill for them. Uh, on Well, because it was Jay Uso wasn't too sure if he wanted to stay in there. Well, no, 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 that, no, that no, was no. before the match. That was Royal Rumble. Yeah, that was, Royal Rumble. that was way before the match. 
And though, but Jay is positive. You know, Sami Zayn talks to him about like not being uh, a part of the bloodline still. He's still in there. Yeah. But I mean, if Cody didn't win at WrestleMania, this whole bloodline thing would have been done already. Especially like the Usos would have been out already, both of them. Since well, since Roman won, they're kind of still in there. So then, what do you think about the bloodline in general? All the all the characters in there: Jay, Jimmy, Solo Sokoa, Paul Heyman. Roman Reigns, how do you think the bloodline is right now? Uh, not stable at all. Uh, only, the only thing there they're stable is because uh, they want Sosa Kuhn in there and nobody else. They don't want the Usos in there at all. Because uh, uh, Sosa Kuhn really has a big impact on the bloodline. Aaron since his debut at the Clash of the Castle. And right now, the only one winning, I think... Is Solo. Is um, Solo? Yeah. When's the last thing he run? Uh, well, I think he lost, I guess, Cody, but other than that, he's a big enforcer. Well, that's it, but he hasn't really won. I mean, maybe he won a match. I don't remember. Maybe uh, maybe the Usos helped him. But the only one besides that is winning is Roman Reigns. Yeah, of course, yeah. Because the Usos are not winning. And so then if you get on the losing streak, Roman Reigns doesn't want you part of the family, like you're not family no more. Because it's a winning uh, bloodline or faction. So what do you think Roman Reigns could learn from Vin Diesel. <laughs> well, it's always family. Family comes first. Oh, yeah. First. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's another name. I forgot his name, though. Uh, and, it's, not, it's not Vin Diesel. It's something else. It's something well, no, else. that's his real name. But uh, in the oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Fast thing is like, it's like Dom Trudeau or something like that. <laughs> so I'm like, oh. you need to see, see? Because apparently Roman Reigns is not loyal, even though he wants everybody to be loyal because he's took all the help from... Oh, I, I think I call it Fast and Furious Fast like for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Uh, I know another movie's coming out. Was it Fast and Furious Fast, 33 or something? Fast and Furious 10, I believe, yeah. 10, they go to the bottom of the middle of the earth. Uh, the last, <laughs> last movie, they're in, a, they're in space. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, man. Like, they're all going, oh. No, they did the submarine already. So yeah. I was going to say, then they go down in the sea or something. <laughs> All right, Brock Lesnar versus Cody Rhodes. So I know you're a big Brock Lesnar fan. <laughs> I am. I mean, well, we know he's going to win. Cody? No, Brock <laughs> Lesnar's going to win. He's going to tear him up. See, but here's the thing. If Cody wants an, an, another title shot sometime in the near future, maybe at Star Wars Land, maybe at next year's WrestleMania, he has to win this match. Well, he has to win. Well, he should have won the one with Roman Reigns. It was probably during his contract. They said, oh, you could get to the headline, but that's it. You get a little taste of it. Mm. Uh, but I don't know. I don't see him winning to Brock Lesnar. It's rare that people win, you know? Yeah, to Brock Lesnar. I mean, even Omos couldn't win against him. So if Omos couldn't beat Brock Lesnar, what makes you think Cody Rhodes could win? He's my favorite. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> He's your favorite now. You used to be a John Cena fan. And I was like five. <laughs> And, but all the, well, actually, you know what? All the ones you like don't wrestle no more. So maybe you shouldn't like Cody Rhodes. I mean, Cody Rhodes even left for like 10 years. Because you like, what is it, uh, Ryback? Remember him? Yeah. John Cena doesn't wrestle anymore. Wade Barrett. Wade Bar and then there was the other one, the the G. Oh, yeah, it was uh, Enzo Amore. Enzo Amore. And Big Cass. Well, Big Cass. Cass. Well, actually, they both wrestle, but not for the company. Yeah, so don't like anybody else because <laughs> they're not going to wrestle I no mean, more. I mean, because it's just sort of how much the, the generation of wrestling has changed. I mean, even like Ray Barry's not there anymore. And she's about to retire. Same thing with Ray Mysterio. They're both about to retire. So, but yeah, but these are the ones you actually have shirts of. Yeah. When we went to the wrestling and you I got I had a shirt with right back too. I went to school. That's what I'm saying. I was right like, back like don't like wrestle fourth no grade, more. third grade. <laughs> so, okay. So then Cody Rhodes is probably not going to wrestle by the end of this year because you bought this shirt. He's going to retire now. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to go back to um, AEW. <laughs> well, I, I like Brock Lesnar. He still fights. So he mm -hmm. went back to the UFC one more time at UFC 200. Won against, uh, I forget his name. And then he came back. Yeah, but he, he lost against like, Kane Velasquez. So. <laughs> wow, that was, he lost, he, lost his, he lost his championship to him, right? I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, but he beat Shane Carwin. Shane Carwin was no joke. It was sad though they never put Shane Carwin and Cain Velasquez together. But after Brock beat Shane Carwin, Shane Carwin never came back to uh, to MMA or UFC. And speaking of UFC, we'll be doing a live stream, not on this channel, but on a channel called Three Throw Podcast this Saturday. That's right. UFC 288. 
I'm streaming that. All right, so now. No, wait, wait. So who's going to win? You, you said Cody. Cody Rhodes is going to win. I ain't going to win. <laughs> He's not going to win. <laughs> yeah. Didn't uh, he be just fight Seth Rollins? Who? Uh, Cody, Cody Rhodes? Lesnar? No, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes just fought Roman Reigns. This past week? This past week? Well, he's been fighting a lot of people. Yeah. Well, who did Seth Rollins just fight? He just fought, uh, what's his name? Seth Rollins just fought, uh, I, I, I went blank there. <laughs> he had a hand on Massive WrestleMania. No, but I'm talking about this past Monday. He fought somebody. Oh, I can't remember. Was it the, wasn't the Miz. Oh, um, Solo Sokoa. That was it. Yeah, was it him? Yeah. I'm not sure, really. Wow, look at that. He already forgot. All right, all right, who's next on the list? All right, we, got, we are Ripley and Selena Vega. And Selena Vega. I think I said it wrong. Who? Selena Vega. No. Okay, this is, what's your name? Selena, Selena. Vega and okay. Rare Ripley. Okay, Vega, Ripley. Vega, Ripley. Okay, but. The size tells it all. Zelina has been getting like a little bit of a push, but Zelina uh, hasn't been even relevant ever since um, okay. Johnny left. To okay, me. she's only relevant because they're going to Puerto Rico. They want the Latin names in there. That's the they well, want I'm, the I'm, chance. I'm, I'm not even going to go for her, but if she does win, that's uh, pretty awesome for her. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go for she's Rhea Ripley. She's not going to win. Yeah, I'm going for Rhea Ripley. There's, there's no way she's just going to be just coming out of I the mean, blue and just. Remember, she hasn't been this relevant ever since and and Drowling was in a company. Well, the only reason she's relevant is because they're going to Puerto Rico. Same thing with Bad Bunny. Yes, that's the only reason he's relevant. I mean, well, he's relevant to put seats in the um, people in the seats. Yeah, but that's why the reason he's here right now because of, because of backlash. Yeah, to put people yeah, in the seats. seats. <laughs> yeah, uh, but then but Ripley just got that title. Yeah, so they're it's, not it's pull way it. too short. Yeah, they're not going to pull that tight. And plus, he's very tough. So yeah. I don't. I mean, I mean, we, we saw Selena mm, Vega do it. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm. She's small. I, I you think... watched SmackDown over when uh, we were really attacked there, and she, and she did not move on her. I think it was a okay DDT. I give her that, but that's pretty much all she's she's going to get. Yeah, well, I'm going to go, gonna go for Rhea Ripley on this one. Well, yeah. I'm not even going for Selena Vega. I'm like, that's dull. Like, it's going <laughs> to, yeah. You know, I'm a fan of Rhea Ripley, so no. I mean, uh, she's not, yeah. Rhea Ripley's going to tear her apart easily. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure she might give her like two or three minutes thinking she's going to win, and then she's just going to tear her up. Yeah, because I, I, I do hope we see a lot on Selena Vega in this match also. But I, I still think uh, Rhea's going to win. But then the LWO she's part of is only relevant, too, because of Rey Mysterio. And because of Eddie Guerrero. A little bit of that. Well, no, they used his theme and all that, but, uh, well, yeah, but they're, uh, they're using Mysterio his, formed it. Yeah. They're using his shadow. Yeah. That's pretty much what they're doing. They're doing the shadow of it. Uh, but we'll see. And I'm glad they're doing this on W because they know Latinos and everything. They do. But again, I want to see after Puerto Rico if this is it. Yeah, is L W L W O going to be relevant anymore? Are they? They be still are because they're they they were the, the day they formed. Everybody was so happy that they did this for Eddie and Ray Mysterio. Well, I, yeah, I was happy too. But again, they're going to Puerto Rico, so they always want a push to that audience. Yeah. So, I, I want to see if it's after that. We'll find out. All right. So next we got Omos versus Seth Rollins. And I think this match was a complete joke and all. It was a complete joke. Seven form. I think Vince kind of just booked this match. <laughs> I think they're just putting names in there too. Um, I don't remember. I'm not sure if Vince just like books one match for like for events. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't remember even seeing Seth and Omas. No, together it's at random, all. It was. I'm telling you, it's Vince. He put one match on this book. I mean, on this match card. He put one match. <laughs> he could have. I mean, because it's. <laughs> It's just odd. I mean, usually they have like a little beef and then they go to a pay-per-view and they settle the beef there. And they haven't been, they haven't been sort of face-to-face -face together at all. I mean, maybe it's mad but it's way too late for that. All right, so who's going to win? Uh, Omos. <laughs> Seth Rollins. Well, I, I do think Seth's going to win too because Seth can uh, like, always pull out the, the unthinkable and win. And, you know, he's very good at his moods, but I don't know. I'm, I'm very in between this match. But remember, because Seth Rollins lost a lot with 
Cody Rhodes went before Cody Rhodes yeah, left. Yeah, he lost at WrestleMania, Hell in a Cell, and I think Backlash too. So I don't, I, I don't think he, he's gonna lose against Omos either. Yeah, I, I'm very unsure about who to pick here, but I'm gonna to lean towards Omos. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next we have Austin Theory versus Bobby Lashley versus Bronson Reed, and a Whoa. triple threat. A triple threat, man. All three of them are gonna be in there. Yes. Wow. Okay, so, how did Bronson Reed get in there? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. This match was just formed off though. There were, <laughs> like it was it's the same thing with Sarah Wilson Almost. It was just formed. Neither of them have been rivalries. I think Bob with Ashley Austin Theory, maybe. But there has been nothing. Well, um Austin Theory and um what's his name again? Bronson Reed. The other guy. Bob Lashley. Bob Lashley. They've been at it for a while already. And before. So I guess they're just throwing Bronson Reed and they're just in the mix. No, to, to I really don't think Bronson Reed's going to win it at all because he's a heavyweight. He should be winning the heavyweight title, not the United States title. So <clears throat> I think Bob Lashley can, can win this also because he has held the title before for a good while. So I'm not sure if there is a retain again. So I'm not, I'm not sure what you, what you think. Well, I think Bronson Reed, this is like a stepping stone for him to get to the champion, even though he has a lot of work to do still. Yeah. Uh, Bobby Lashley, he's just trying to get a title. Austin Theory is fighting to get recognized, even because he's been rebranded by himself. Um, I still say Austin Theory is going to win. I'm a fan of Austin Theory, so I say he's going to win. He's going to save the belt. I think... Uh, <clears throat> Baba Lassie is going to take Brunson Reed out. Yeah, because they... And then Austin Theory is going to capitalize on it. And um, by him, by Bobby Lassie not worrying about Austin Theory, then Austin Theory is going to take advantage of that. And and he's going to pin Bobby Lassie. Yeah, I think I can say happening too. And I can also see what's happening is Brunson versus Bobby Lassie in, in the near future also. And that match, maybe at SummerSlam, who knows? But um, I don't really know. Uh, I'm probably going to go for Bobby Lashley. I'm right. probably going to be wrong, but I'm going to go for Bobby. It could be right, too. I, 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 I like the way Austin Theory is coming out. Um, he's fighting for his name, and he has something to fight about. Bobby's Lashley, and he's just in there collecting a check right now. Yeah. Bronson Reed just wants to get known right now, so this might help him. And I, and I think this match is good too because they, that's going to put Bronson Reed versus Bobby with Ashley in the near future. You're right. I, I think after this, you're right. It, they're going to be both. Of them I, I together. wouldn't like to see that match also. That'd be a good match. Because after after backlash, I think Austin Theory is going to move to somebody else, and then, like you said, Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed will be wrestling together. Well, like yeah, uh, uh, against each other. Against each other. Yes. All right. Who's next? All right. We got Bianca Belair versus the Evil Sky. This match is should not be done. Yeah, <laughs> uh, they're just giving somebody, uh, I guess, like a handout. I don't know why she's in there. I don't know if it's for the Asian crowd or something, but she should not be in there. But here's the thing, also, I, you're right too. But here's the like the funny thing: they were both drafted to SmackDown, and uh, obviously, Bianca has the title. But uh, usually, what they do is they have her switch to the SmackDown title right away. But I mean, they're both driving to SmackDown, and I think it's for the Raw title. I think, I think so. I don't know. So why her? Why not anybody else? What are names out there that she could fight? What about Becky? Well, I guess Becky Lynch has been there, done that. Okay, forget about Becky Lynch. Uh, who else? Is, uh, it's Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan. Morgan. Yeah, I'm she about, could have been. I'm about lower names, obviously not Rhea Ripley and Charlotte, but like Liv Morgan, maybe like Chelsea Green, maybe Sonya, maybe. I think uh, Liv Morgan's been active. Chelsea Green, I've seen her, but I haven't really seen her. Like, I, what happened to Camilla? What happened with her? Guess what? She's pregnant. Oh. With, 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 with Corey Graves. Oh, okay, cool, okay. Yeah, I thought she came back and she got pregnant. So I'm like, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> Probably because her new costumes were different. So he's probably like, hey. <laughs> but, you know, good for them, though. Yeah. Um, okay. So I think Liv Morgan would have... She's still a big name, even though they have her in a tag team, which is probably was bringing her down. Um, well, I think it's bringing her up, though. What about... Um, what are the big names out there? Um, Raquel. That's a, that's a big name, also. Yeah. Not there yet, but yeah. Um, I'm leaning towards like Liv Morgan, 
Sonia Deville, Chelsea Green, that's there also. That's mainly it for me. Maybe Chelsea Green too, but I mean, some of these females, all, they, they all need three to put, those are lower names right now. I, I, I think these females need to get their names out there to get it. I mean, EO Sky, whatever her name is, I, she's been relevant because they keep advertising them. They keep putting damage control in every card. You know what I mean? Like, okay, enough with damage control. There's other people yeah, out I, there. Yeah, I like that. They're going to be done already with damage control. I think they'll break them apart already. Well, even that, just put them on. Okay, we got this, your damage control. Move them to the side already. There's yeah, exactly. other people. Because they've been like in mass cars at every single pay-per-view. Okay. I mean, they were good for the... Okay, let's get somebody else in here. So, because Vince had a lot of ways of... Uh, Doing the same matches over and over and over, and then like you, used, I used to see Raw. I'm like, I saw this match three times already, four times. Why are we still doing this? Move on. Yeah. Like wherever the matchmakers are, if it was Vince, like okay, well, it was, yeah, it was, it was we get Vince. it. Like okay, we get it. Move on. And it would take a while. It'd be a pay per view, and then they would switch. Like okay, okay, somebody else, or they do a pay per view and they do it. And whatever the pay-per-view was, they did it on Raw the next day. I'm like, we just saw this. <laughs> we saw all these matches. I paid money for all these matches. I mean, and and kinda, then you sold it to me again, <laughs> like on the Raw? Like, why did you not pay for the match then? I mean, it's kind of the same thing with, uh, I guess, Sir Ron's Cody Rhodes. And they fought three pay-per-views in a row, but for three times, that was kind of it. You know, we saw that at WrestleMania. Why, why do it again, like, two more times? And if the best they had was Neil Sky, Neil Sky, whatever he is. Neil Sky, yeah. Why? Why was that the best they had? I mean, uh, she could have gone against Asuka. Both, I think, Japanese. Or Korean, rather. Japanese, I think. They're Japan. Uh, but yeah, they just did Asuka. Okay, she's done. Becky Lynch, she's gone. Okay, they did her already. Okay, who's next? I don't think she was the next one. I think there was other names out there. Um, but I don't know. I, I don't like this match. I don't think it should have been done. I think EST has better options. Yeah, exactly. They should have got her a better option. And right now, we're Ripley. Why, why not? <laughs> like, Eos guy, I get it. She's still coming up, but she just got here a year yeah, ago. Yeah, why get her a title shot right now? <laughs> she just got here. She's, she's just a tag team. Most of the time, the damage control needs to help for her to win. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, I don't agree with it. I, I don't like this match. All right, who do you got next? Bad Bunny versus Damien Priest. I think they're both from Puerto Rico, too. Uh, well, from there, I think. Uh, who do you got? Well, probably Damon Priest, although um, uh, Puerto Rico is Bad Bunny's hometown, but, I mean, they're known to not make him win in hometown because of Sammy Zayn. Uh, he lost his, ho his hometown, Sammy. Sitting with Bad Bunny, he's in his hometown, but in, I'm still going to think uh, Priest is going to win. I'm with Priest will win, but I'm also, it's going to get interrupted. I think I'll get up there with Damien getting in there, Finn Balor, the LWO, depending on, and, and uh, Rey Mysterio. I think it's going to be a, a brawl coming out. Yeah, I can see that happening too, especially with uh, the LWO, especially with them. But we've seen a lot with Bad Bunny, though, in his past matches, like WrestleMania two years ago. We saw a lot in that match, and that was like his debut match. And we saw a lot from him. Uh, he's wrestled uh, many times in the past, I think, uh, and more matches. And we see in, he can also do a lot of moves too in the ring. So he, he has some uh, uh, not ring rush a little bit because he hasn't been in the Yeah, ring. he's been doing good. I mean, he's actually improved. Like Logan Paul has been improving. Uh, probably Logan Paul's more improved more than uh, Bad Bunny, but, yeah. but he's actually training to be a professional wrestler. Yeah, because Bad Bunny, um, I, I I know he's going to do a, like, a very good performance performance in the ring. Oh, uh, He may have some ring rust for not being in the ring for, for, for yeah. a long time. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think he is going to give a good performance. Not as good as Logan Paul, though. Yeah. I'm not comparing him because there are celebrities outside uh, WWE. Yeah. But I'm um, with for a priest in this one. Uh, so, I think, are you going to Priest also? Yeah, I think Priest, but I think it's going to get interrupted. All right, so we just saw the draft um, this this past Monday and Friday. Yeah. And we saw a lot from the from the list. Obviously, we're not going to go up at every single name. But one a few things I want to talk about is from... Um, from SmackDown or Raw? Neither. It was from... NXT. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. We saw a lot of call-ups, and it was awesome. 
The one that being ones I'm not talking about is Cameron Grimes and uh, Brayson Waller. They're both really good. Yeah, I know they have some good uh, good matches back there, and I, I do so think they, they can do These males or females? Uh, they're both males. Both males. Cameron okay. Grimes and uh, Brayson Waller. All right, just want to make sure because sometimes these names go back and forth. Like Stacy could be a guy's name too. Mm -hmm. Tracy could be a nice guy's name too. So like what? Even with uh, Brayson Waller though, um, I do think he's the uh, tag team with. Um, Theory. Theory. Because oh, they, okay. they both had that gimmick with a cell phone, too. Ah. And so I don't think they'll be a great tag team. Uh, first tag team with Theory, because Theory has not has to be a tag team. Okay, so so they're a tag team. They're not, but I, I do think they're going to be. You think they could be? Yeah. Because okay. uh, this uh, roster change is going to go effect until after Backlash. Okay. Usually when they do that, when they have somebody who could potential, who do they always give them to? Two people. Uh, Dolph Ziggler... Or the Miss, yeah, because they always give them to pump, uh, to train, them. especially Dolph Ziggler. He's been a lot of like like squash matches. Yeah, I, I think if anything, if he's as good as you say, like with the pictures and all that, they'll give the Miss. Yeah, but we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. It's same thing. I think uh, Brandon Waller be the good with the Miss than the Miss. But Cameron Grimes, uh, I do think he's gonna be teaming with JBL. Because they both like about the, the, the rich life and everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, JBL was like has like. Um, well, JBL will probably be like a manager. Oh well, yeah, manager for Cameron Grimes. So I do think they're gonna be apart uh, together. Oh, oh, okay, okay. But you also have the other guy, um, Mr. Happy. Oh, Barry Coleman, yeah. Barry Coleman, he was Corbin, about the money. Yeah, and and so for JBL uh, split with him, but I mean Cameron Grimes would be, would be great with JBL, especially with him trying to make a name now. Making his debut on the main roster, so we get his name up there because uh, he's making a debut. And who's that guy I told you about? Cor Cor uh, Corbin. Uh, Corbin. Cor Baron Coleman. Baron Coleman. Corbin, yeah. Do you think he went downhill when he got his haircut? Yeah. When he shaved all his hair off because he was yeah uh, skimming. I, yeah, I don't think that didn't happen because when his hair long, I I liked his hair long. It was like thin hair also. It was like noodles. <laughs> well, yeah, because he was going bald. So he yeah. had it like that. But I do think ever since he's cut his hair, like... He has to be different. He has to be the same. Yeah, because he was a little bit tougher back then. Yeah. Now, that he, happy thing... He even won um, the Dancing the Giant by the Royal. And then that happy thing with the other guy, the happy... Oh, I'm like, it was oh, my Mac God. and Moss, yeah, when they were both together. That was terrible. I don't know who came up with that gimmick, but that was terrible. And then he went JBL, which was good, I think. That was a good JBL, one. yeah, I, I think that. that. But but he always became the the laughing stock or whatever. Yeah, and, uh, and now uh, backstage, uh, he gets picked on by a lot of wrestlers, too. Awesome working uh, story last month. So maybe he'll come back as a heel and uh, being picked on, and he'll come back strong. But he's still young enough. I mean, I don't know, who he is, but to do something still, you know. But if he doesn't do something soon, he's going to be passed on. Yeah. He needs to get a good gimmick. All right. So what do you think of the draft? I mean, besides them, anybody else that you had picks about? Like you were like, oh, okay, this was a good or bad or. Uh, not too much. I mean, Bob Lashley, I think it was on SmackDown now, was kind of uh, out of the blue. <laughs> what do you think about the draft in general of, of how they were doing it? Uh, I didn't really like it. Because uh, especially with the tag teams, they put them together. It's sort of like splitting them apart. Yeah, uh, because it was always the individual. Yeah. do like a little turn thing i'm pretty sure they were pre uh they were pre done and they'll put like a little balls and they get it oh raw gets whatever the name appeared yeah and before it did they do like this war rooms because of like usa network and fox network like they're like this war rooms together um i guess like when that work wants who for their view for the ratings and now i mean this draft i mean you know like, there's not a draft. They just say, you know what? Let's move him there, move that there. They're all oh, they yeah, do is yeah. moving the pieces. They yeah, just made a big show about it. Yeah, it has, it has nothing to do with, with the networks within USA and Fox. Nothing to do with them. No, it just, like, the draft was a joke, too. Yeah. It just because the uh, football team had their draft. They're like, oh, we're going to do the draft at this time. and But everything was pre-done. I mean, but the draft has always been there. It's like, what, 2012? Yeah. 
Yeah, and that, all they did was because it shake things up. Yeah. But the way they're doing it now is so obvious that, I mean, before with the spinning the balls and just picking at random, you're like, oh, my God, is it really random? Now it's like, you know, it's just them picking names. So all they had to do was just not even have a show, just have the people go to there, and then it would have been done. Yeah. But this draft, I think it's a joke. They should just get rid of this draft now because, like you said, they rather than doing an individual, they did all the tag teams, right? Yes. Or whoever the faction was. Yeah. They okay. kept them together, all of them. But they didn't. But remember, they had Rhea Ripley go by herself to whatever. How, how did she still with uh, with uh, Finn Balor and all of them? But then, oh they yeah, got, then they're they got Judgment too. Day together. But, but the Uso was, I mean, that's kind of the same thing. They they were so kind of together, but they dropped the uh, uh, Solo Sokoa, Reigns, and Paul Heyman all together. Why? Why Solo Sokoa with Roman Reigns when the Uso's been there longer than Solo Sokoa? So why isn't them together? Exactly. I, I, mean, I think this was a joke. Yeah. I didn't like the draft, the way they did it by tag teams and all that. They did all tag teams, but then Rhea Ripley was separate? Yeah. I understand she's a champion, well, but you know still. Why? They say they want to give her that number one pick. That's why. Yeah. yeah. That's but one of the reasons why. I, I didn't like it. I don't like yeah, the draft either. anymore. I, I think it was a joke. And the way they did it. I mean, I like the superstars that came out. I like RVD came out. I'm like, oh, yeah. And the yeah. road dog came back out, you know, I liked all that, and uh, HBK uh, came out, but I don't know, the draft was a joke this year. Yeah, but one of the other names I, I want to speak about that got called up to the main roster was Katana Chance and Kanan Carter, they're okay. a tag team, yeah. a women's tag team, and I think they do have a lot of potential on the main roster, because since they're a tag team, because um, they could go against, like, uh, you know, Chelsea Green, Swin Bill. Yeah. Um, maybe not damage control for a long time, especially uh, Lil Morgan and uh, Raquel because Raquel, they're both champions. So uh, a good opponent for them will definitely uh, be uh, Chelsea Green and Swin Bill right away. Yeah, I think so too. So, I think you're right. I mean, they have a lot of potential, although they do have a talent match on um, NXT. <laughs> it's kind of weird. <laughs> I guess because the last one. Because remember, it doesn't take... Effect to after yeah, backlash, back which is by what Monday. Yeah, Monday comes and then real raw, and then you everybody goes to the new set form. But it's good for the people in NXT; they get to move up to the main yeah, show. And then that's why I like about it. It's awesome that they get to call in the main roster, especially spending years uh, down not in the main roster. Yep, the NXT. I don't know if you guys know this, but on Twitter now you have to pay for your oh your uh, check mark. Yes, yeah, your check mark. Yeah, they have to pay for that now. And so many celebrities and like you know wrestlers, I'm like, well, like why, <laughs> why, <laughs> like, why do I pay for it now? Well, you got to think <laughs> about that too. Okay, we as a the consumers, okay, because yeah. they're the product, okay. In order for us to view the product, which is them, we have to subscribe to Peacock, or we go to a service to like Spectrum. Uh, YouTube TV or something to watch them. Yeah. So we still have to pay, all right? Because it's cable TV. It's not network. It's cable TV. Yeah. So we have to pay. So why are they griping if they make more money than us for whatever, less than $100? Yeah, because I, like, well, I know. They can easily just pay it back. <laughs> I mean, they could... Uh, that that check mark is an expense on their taxes, yeah. you know, because that's what they need for to for their brand, whatever they're doing. So why why are they griping about this check mark? Also, I think it's because since they're celebrities and famous people, there's a lot of bot accounts on the celebrities, and fans only know that it's their official account when they see that check mark. I, I understand that. I understand that. But are they just being entitled yeah. because they're celebrity? They just automatically get it for free. They get a lot of stuff for free. Yeah. So why are they griping about a check mark? I tell you what, why don't the I'll pay for your check mark, but you pay for my cable bill every every month <laughs> to see you for the whole year. I'll pay TV. for your check mark the whole year. You buy, you pay for my TV subscription for the whole year, <laughs> and I bet you they're like, no, it's okay, it's okay. I'll get my check mark. I don't even need my check mark. They're gonna say, 
And I'm like, yeah, goddamn right. Because yeah, you're right. Why they see them on TV? Why they pay for the movies? What are the movies just to see them? <laughs> yep. I mean, pay per views too. Remember, you uh, WWE. We have to pay. Yeah. We have to pay fifty nine, sixty nine, seventy nine dollars. And now they might go back to that uh, 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 cable TV. Oh yeah, I, it's definitely going back to that. It's definitely with that uh, endeavor. Yeah, with, with, merging with, with the UFC. UFC. Yeah, it's definitely going to go back to that. Uh, but now, okay. What do you think about damage control as a whole? Um, I think it's kind of good because obviously Bailey, um, fans know Bailey, and Io and Io's kind of the corner guy. I think we're not on the main roster yet uh, when Bailey wasn't even there. I don't know. I said that wrong. Hold on, because the corner guy and Io's guy were on the main roster yet. Were and, they on NXT? Yeah. Okay. So they were both there, and Bailey was already on the main roster and on SmackDown. And now, uh, since they're mid return SummerSlam last year, uh, Bailey is kind of helping them get their name out into on the main roster, finding all these tag teams that we, we should we shouldn't. So, do you think she's there already? Who? Like the Dakota Kai and Neil Sky? Like they're oh yeah, they're, they're there already. They're there. I think after this. Because Dakota Kai, she let Dakota Kai do something, some match yet. Maybe it was against EST. And now Neo Sky is going to do her own match with that. I think after that, they should be done. And if not, then I'm tired of damage control. Yeah, because uh, both Dakota Kai and Neo Sky are there already. Their names are out there already. People, <coughs> fans know them already. And so I, I do think this damage, damage control should be over and done. Yeah, I and think this is the near the end. So I'm hoping, like, um, come on, this, this is like a Roman Reigns thing. Yeah. Okay, we get it. Move so, on. Yeah, and, and they're all three are ready for a solo a solo career. They're yeah. ready for that. They just got. I mean, I know they're young, but Dakota Kai needs to build up her body. She needs more meat. She needs more muscle. Yeah. But yeah. It is not because she's a female, but there's other females in there that are bigger and. <laughs> I mean, for example. Rhea Ripley, even in Charlotte too. Well, I think Rhea Ripley just naturally that size. Of course, she does have to work out for her tone and muscles and all that. But, yeah. but I mean, man. Charlotte has some muscle on her too. She had to work for her muscle. You see, when she yeah. was younger, she wouldn't even look mm -mm. like that. No. So I mean, yeah, she she put in the work for that. All right. Well, I'm hoping the this damage control goes to an end. Yeah. What else you got for us? That's it for today. Woohoo! We'll see you next time. And well, we're also on Twitter, and I'll put links in the description down below where actually he'll do it for you. For all our socials on a, in the description down below. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.